Hey, it's Mel. So in this video, what I want to talk about is the, to answer the question, what are the best dimensions in which to screen capture your video um, so that it publishes with the best resolution when you put it out there, okay? For that, I like to usually begin with the end in mind. And the idea is for if you think about many, where are you going to put your video ultimately, if it's going to be in a blog or on a website, a lot of times some standard dimensions might be 640 pixels wide by 480 pixels tall. That's basically a 4 by 3 type of a, a ratio relationship. I'll explain that more in the follow on blog post. But what I want to get to here is that there are many ways in which you actually can capture your screencast video, whether you're doing a presentation, uh, you know, you. Uh, translating your PowerPoint presentations to digitize them and then put them online and screen capture all of that or if you're showing some software or you might be showing a website or something like that. Okay, But the idea is what is the best way to capture that? What are best dimensions so that it comes out, it doesn't look all pixelated or all squarish looking whenever you're uh, when you finally publish it out to uh, for the web. Well, there are two schools of thought, and there's a whole spectrum of ways that you can capture this and a whole spectrum of dimensions in which you can capture your screencast video. But let's take a look at the extremes. On the far end of one extreme is to is some folks that would say, well, if I'm going to publish it ultimately in 640 pixels by 480 pixels tall, then maybe I want to capture it at 640 by 480 pixels, so that way I can just do a one-to-one -one publish from the time I screen capture, from the dimensions that I screen capture it, and then push it out and publish it at the, those same dimensions. That's certainly one way, and I'll show you what that looks like on one end. And then on the other end of the spectrum is to say, Maybe instead of doing that, you know, where you take a 640 by 480 pixel box on your screen and squeeze everything down into that area so you can capture that, maybe on the other end is instead capture at full screen, you know, whatever's shown on your whole desktop, on your, on your computer monitor, capture it at full screen resolution, and then in the editing process, then scale everything down to your 640 by 480 pixels, or, and, or publish it out at 640 by 480 pixels. And actually that is my preferred method, is to capture it full screen and then during the editing process is, is, is to then scale everything down to the dimensions you ultimately want to have it at. So let's take the first thing here let's go ahead and take a look at what we have on my desktop I'm basically showing you my desktop here what I want to do is I usually uh, and we're obviously we're using a Mac here if you're familiar with the, the desktop version here I'm going to use a software called Camtasia and I prefer Camtasia a lot for a lot of my screencast videos they have a PC version and also a Macintosh version I'm going to show you the Macintosh version here and it doesn't matter really because the same things I'm showing you here also work for the PC it applies for the PC version as well Okay, so what I want to do here is let's take that first step, what, that first scenario where we talked about maybe taking a 640 by 480 pixel area of your uh, your full desktop screen, your full desktop monitor, and then squeezing everything into there that you want to capture. Okay, and then we'll take a look at what that looks like. So first, let's go ahead and see if we can define our box here to be 640 by 480 pixels, and there indeed is this little box. I'm just going to put it right there in the middle so you can kind of see this green highlighted area here, right? And indeed it says 640 by 480 pixels. Okay, that's those are the dimensions. Now what I want to do is I want to bring up just a representative screen, uh, something that I want to capture. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick this off and let's just go ahead and say record. So, and we're waiting for it. It does a little countdown, three, two, one, to get all booted up and ready. Okay, so now it's actually capturing that box and you can kind of see Anything that shows up in there, there's my mouse, and it's out again. Okay, so anything that goes in that box basically gets captured. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and bring up like a little test pattern uh, image that I have. Let's see if we can go find it here. Uh, here it is, my test pattern image. Okay. So here's a test pattern image, and the idea here is that's what it looks like. And the idea here is if that happens to be a representative area of something that I'm capturing, whether it's a presentation in PowerPoint or in KeyPoint or it might be an application piece of software that you use that you want to share with your readers, or maybe it's a website or something like that, uh, the idea is one school of thought is you set up your little box area uh, that's going to be the dimensions that you're going to publish it at ultimately, and then you squeeze down and you make, you make fit into that box, the thing that you want to capture. And we'll scale this down a little bit more here. Okay, so that's going to be the little box area that we capture. Okay, so I'm just going to let that run for about five seconds. We'll capture that, and then I'll show you what I do later with the edits and so forth. But I'm going to capture this. 
We'll stop it, and then what we're going to do is we'll go the other way, and then we'll capture full screen resolution. All right. So we've let that run long enough. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. So we'll stop that recording. And what that's going to do in Camtasia typically then saves all of that video and then op immediately opens up the editor. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save this, and we'll save it as Scenario 1. Okay. Call that Scenario 1 captured at 640 by 480. That's the name we're going to give it so that way we know what it looks like later on. I'll go ahead and save that down. But I'm going to go ahead and close Camtasia again. Okay, so we've captured that first one. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to do the same process again, but this time we're going to capture this whole screen area here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and open up Camtasia again. Okay, and we will select instead of, instead of that 640 by 480 region, now I'm going to capture the full version, the full screen version of my iMac. And you can kind of see where it did that. Uh, it expanded the green borders around the whole area of my desktop monitor. All right, so now we're going to go and do the capture there. It's waiting, and you can kind of see the blue areas here along the outside. So it's going to capture now everything that's in, on my entire desktop. And we're going to bring that pattern back that we had. Here's that pattern, but this time we're going to blow it up to simulate capturing the whole entire screen. Let's see if we can blow it up here, okay? There. So now it basically takes up my entire screen, and let's let that run for about five seconds, and we'll capture this image here as well. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and stop Camtasia as well. My screen recording software will now save this down, and then now we'll save this out, and this is what we just captured, and we captured the whole thing at full screen resolution here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and save that, and we will save this version as Scenario 2. All right, so we'll just grab that, call it this time Scenario 2, captured at, and instead of 4, 6, 640 by 480, captured at full screen. All right, so now we're going to save that puppy. All right, now just so you can kind of you know, keep up with where I am, I'm going to go ahead and close Scenario 1, let's open uh, Scenario 2, and I'm going to go and close my test pattern image. Let's go back and open up Scenario 1. Remember, that was the one where we captured at 640 by 480. And what I'm going to do is publish that at 640 by 480. Okay? And then, later on, what we're going to do is open up Scenario 2, which we captured at full screen. And just so we have apples to apples comparison, I will publish that at 640 by 480. So now that what we're going to do is let's go ahead and open up Scenario 1. Bring back my finder here desktop let's go to where i have my screen comparison okay so here was scenario one where that was the one we captured a 640 by 480. i'm going to open that guy up and we'll do just a little bit of editing here so that way we don't have to publish the whole thing out because i don't have to have you want to wait through all of that stuff so basically what i'm going to do now in the editing timeline now in other videos i'll show you how to actually produce some of the videos I use using screen, screen capture technology and how you can easily digi digitize your, your knowledge that you have. But for now, what I want to do is just do this comparison really quick. So we're going to go ahead and capture all of that. Now what I'm going to do is publish this out at 640 by 480 and we'll publish it in MP4 format. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do this guy. Export to MPEG4. And you can see my options here. I'm going to select this. Exporting here 640 by 480. That's the important thing. The image size dimensions are that. So I'm going to say OK, give it a name, and here again we'll call it Scenario 1 with a 640 by 480 capture. OK, just so we keep all of the names kind of consistent, and then let's save that out. Now it's just a matter of waiting for it. So I'll see you when this is done. OK, we're back. So that Scenario 1 is done. So now, uh, I don't necessarily want to reveal and find it right now. We'll take a look at it later in comparison to the other one. So let's go ahead and close this. Now what I want to do is open up Scenario 2, the one that we recorded earlier. So let's go ahead and close this guy. Yeah, let's go ahead and save it. That's fine. And then, now we're going to open up Scenario 2 that I captured earlier at full screen. Okay, so here we go. So let's open that puppy up. And that's going to bring it up in the editor. And we'll similarly do the same kind of a thing. We'll, we'll, we'll focus on just a, a five-second five segment of this whole thing. So really, a lot of this I don't necessarily need. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut that at the playhead as well. And what we're going to do is compare this, the output of this Scenario 2, to the same, to the same type of uh, perspective on the output in Scenario 1. And we'll, we'll see which one looks better. All right? So let's go ahead and save this guy out. Okay, so that's rendering, and let's just wait for that for a few seconds, and I'll see when it's done. Okay, I'm back. So that's done. That's in the scenario two where we captured it full screen. We've got that outputted. So I'm just going to go ahead and close Camtasia at this point. We don't need it anymore. 
and we will go ahead and save it. Now let's open up those two MP4 files that we just created. These are the final output files, and that would be specifically this one for scenario one and this one for scenario two. Let me just change the view, and let's say, let's sort it by kind, so that way we group them together. And what we're going to do now is compare these two outputted versions. All right, so let's open them both up. Okay, now I don't necessarily want the sound here. Okay, so now let's compare scenario one versus scenario two. And this is the pre zoomed in version of each, right about here. Okay, don't need this. I'm going to go ahead and close this finder window. All right, now notice the side by side comparison. You see here where you have the HD net, and right about in the middle here with this big circle, this is a little bit fuzzier, if you can notice, than this one on the right. Okay, again, this one on the right is the one we captured at full screen resolution. And then take a look at some of these letterings here on the left side, um, where it gets a little bit fuzzier here, right about the, the three and the four, whereas over here on the right, you can still see three and four. Okay, and so it's a little bit crisper on the right side here. Now let's zoom in a little bit more. All right, and you can see the zoomed in version on scenario one, which is this one on the left, and then let's do that zoomed in version on scenario two, which is this one here on the right. All right, see the difference? Okay, so now here's a challenge that you're gonna have. Well, you're watching this video right now, and so in a way, you're limited to the screen resolution of the screen capture software that I'm using right now, which isn't Camtasia, and I prefer Camtasia, but uh, what I'm going to do is take each of these videos, and I'll also include them separately below this video in the blog post, so that way you can do an apples to apples comparison as well. Okay? In any case, what I'm pointing out here is, uh, if you see scenario one, so where we, ca we, we took a 640 by 480 box, a smaller box, and then we squeezed into that box the thing or the images that we wanted to capture, and then we did the screen capture at those dimensions, and then published it out to 640 by 480, versus scenario two where we captured the whole screen, and then, took that, and then later in the editing process took that section of the screen that we wanted and then scrunched it down or scaled it down to fit within 640 by 480. In the next blog post, what I'll do is I'll explain why that is, why it's more crisper, because you're actually capturing more pixels, more squares, more resolu you know, better resolution when you capture it full screen. Okay? And that would be my recommendation to you as well. Okay, so this is Mel, and I uh, hope uh, this video was helpful to you. If you want more of this, keep an eye out for the, uh, the, the online course I'm going to be starting soon on, how, on digital know-how. All right? Talk to you soon. Take care.